Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is creating test in Postman. So here's the situation. You have requests that you're testing in Postman. It is very tedious to have to go and check the response status code as well as the response body. So you can create tests that do that for you. A prerequisite for this video is downloading Postman and creating an account, both of which are free. So now let's jump into Postman. This is the web browser version of a free account. So start creating a request. Navigate to your workspace. And if you don't have one, just create a new one. It's very simple. And now start the setup. For each new request that you make, you're going to start by hitting the tab button to create a new tab. You can change the type of request that you make by selecting from the drop down to create a get, post, put, or any other option shown below. And then your actual request URL goes in the space bar here. Get request retrieve data from an API. No information is modified from get calls. You'll be receiving information that already exists. In the URL, type in the following request. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash JSON placeholder dot type code dot com slash users. Now let's check our response. First of all, status code is 200, which means it was a successful request. And now let's check our response body. If you select pretty, you can see a well-formatted, easy to read version of the response body. The response should include a list of objects that include fields such as ID and name. Once again, this information already exists, you should retrieve it from the API call. Now let's focus on creating the test for our current API call. First, we're going to test the status code. From our test here, we have status code 200. So now we're going to test to make sure that 200 is always returned as a status code. Navigate to the snippet section and select status code, code equals 200. You should then have a below screenshot. So for this test, our test name is going to be status code equals 200, and we'll test into response to have a status of 200. As you can see, our expected response is 200 from our initial API call. We want to make sure that matches our new test. So now let us send the request and then view the results. Click on the test results tab, actually the one out of one, and the pass with the status code equals 200. Now let's add negative tests. Instead of test for 200, let's test for 201 as a status code. This test should fail, but let's see the response that we get. Now when we send it, we get a fail, status code 200, and we get what the status code was expected, 201, and actual status code, which was 200. Now let us fix our test back so it passes to check again for 200. And next, we're going to check the response body. We're going to do our snippets folder again. And we're going to click on response body JSON value check. So we're checking the JSON in the response body. Out of the box, the second test is pretty useless. So let's change it to test some of the values and our first user element returns to our response body. First, let's change the test name to something more meaningful so we know what it's testing. So now let's review our expected element one, which is the first element. And we're gonna test for the name, the ID, the username, and email. So remember we're testing for the first element, so we'll offset it to the zero place. And next, we'll put a value in. First, the ID. Expect like the ID to equal one. And 
Next, we'll do the same with the username and do a check for that. And we expect the username to equal Brett. Next, the email field. And now finally the name field. So now let's go over our test. We want to make sure that the name equals Leanne Graham. That's our expected name. That the username equals Brett. That the email is the one copied below and that the ID equals one. Now let us run our test and there you go we have two out of two passing. The first one's our status code and the second one is the values of the element one. You can modify this data to check any of the information returned in response to JSON body. There is no limited number of tests that you can have so feel free to play with other snippets that are provided and use these as a template to start your test. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a video just like this, please click here. If you want other videos that I have, please click here. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.